Hey guys, it's Emery, and I know it's been maybe 80 million years since I've done another one of these types of videos, but yeah. So, if you see me looking back there, it's because I have a mirror right there, because that's what you can see what I'm doing. But yeah, so I started a new school, not new school, but it's new school year, I'm in 8th grade now, and yeah. So I might, I don't know, I don't look that different, but I might sound older. <laughs> no, I don't think I do. But yeah. So I'm just gonna do an updated makeup collection, I guess you could call it, because I've gotten rid of some stuff and I've gotten some new stuff. So it's kind of just, I have the same amount of products, just, just not all the same products. And I probably changed my makeup routine a little bit. So I might be doing, I might be releasing two videos. I might be doing an updated makeup collection and then a makeup tutorial type of thing. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Bell facial cleansing tissues so these are just they because they're for all skin types so they just go really good because i'm oily right here right where my nose is in my t-zone and then i'm really dry around the edges and sometimes it'll switch and alternate i just have i think i have combination skin i guess that's what they would call it and i got two bags of them because you get 30 wipes each and i guess i'll put right here like how much you get for each wipe because i kind of like seeing that kind of stuff when i watch these types of videos so yeah, and the next thing I have is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, and this is like one of the best setting sprays I've ever had. I mean, my friend has the Urban Decay All Nighter, and she let me borrow it for a couple of days just to see how it would work, and I actually like this one better. I know it's like, whoa, it's, yeah, you like a drugstore brand better than a high-end brand. It's not really that I like it, it's just how it feels on my skin. You might really like the Urban Decay one and may think the e.l.f. one is like complete crap, but you know, it's just how it sits on your skin. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is concealer. I love, 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 love this concealer. I actually got the big bottle because my friend had a foundation in this color and she's like, here you can have it. I don't really, I don't really like it as foundation because I was like, hey, yeah, because you're using concealer as foundation. She's like, oh, that's why you don't like it. So it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Treatment Makeup and I have it in the shade 120 Creamy Ivory and I really, 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 really love this concealer. It just covers up like, because I have a col uh, color printer that I guess I can show you now if I can find it. So I have this Wet n Wild Coverall Correcting Palette, and it has a green, a purple, a, an illuminator, and a yellow. And I put the yellow under my eyes to color correct the purple. I'll tell you more of this in my makeup video, but yeah. So I use the concealer to cover, and it just covers up all of the color. And it's just a really, like, pretty, I guess, really pretty. I like the way it sits on my face. So, yeah. And then the next thing I have is the CoverGirl CG Smoother. Yeah, smoother hydrating makeup, and I have the shade 755 Soft Honey. And again, I really, really like the way this product just settles on my face. I mean, it doesn't really settle into your pores, and it's kind of a light to medium coverage. So if you really like that kind of light to medium coverage, I know I'm not a beauty guru, and I shouldn't be talking about light to medium coverage because I'm only 13, but you know. I just really like the way it settles on my face. It doesn't sink into my pores and it doesn't cover up my freckles either. And I really don't like it when people who have freckles cover up like all their freckles. I mean, congrats on your uh, your foundation for being able to cover that. But I really don't like it. I like to embrace my inner like beauty, I guess you'd say, by not covering up my freckles. I mean, it's just, I just really like it. And I love like the formula. It kind of is serum-y. I really like that feeling. It kind of feels like silk. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is these. They are, I got them in a Claire's set of three. They are just, there's a purple, a pink, and a green beauty blender. Beauty blender. But they're actually really nice, especially the purple one. Sorry, my camera just died and it kind of, I don't know where it cut off, but I think I'll talk about the beauty blenders. Well, the beauty blenders, yeah. So they're just really nice, the, especially the purple one because it feels the most like a beauty blender when it's damp. When it's dry, it's actually pretty hard, but I was really surprised. I was kind of scared because I spent $15 on these and I was afraid that they weren't gonna like be up. They're not gonna be, well, I know they're not gonna be exactly up close to the beauty blender, but the, this one's actually pretty close for at Claire's. And I actually got these at Claire's and I'm actually really surprised and really glad that I made the purchase, the, pur the purchase, the purchase. And the next thing I'm gonna be talking about is the e.l.f. Um, what's it called? 
Elf Translucent Powder. It's actually really nice and it kind of looks like the NARS packaging. That's kind of the reason that I got it, just to test it out, because I've had the NARS translucent powder before and I really, really liked it, but I did not want to go and I don't, not splurge, but I didn't want to pay that much money. I got this for $2. $2. Oops, for $2. And it's great. I love it. It's almost exactly like the NARS one. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is, I guess we're going to brushes. So I got this Wet n Wild brush, and I it's one of the softest brushes that I've ever felt in my life. So it's super soft, and it kind of is really cute because it has this like pink kind of top to it. And then in my other video, I showed you my MAC brushes. I kind of got these in a set. They're little minis. And this is my holy grail brush. I feel like, I mean, I couldn't do my whole eyes with it, but I love this brush so much. It is the best blending brush that you will ever buy. So you need to buy it. I don't know what number it is because the number is 224SE or SF. It kind of got rubbed off, so yeah. But the next thing I'm gonna be talking about is a, I don't know how many times I've said that. Oh wait, no, I have more brushes. So I have these two brushes that I showed you in my last video, but I'll give you some close-ups of them. And I guess that's the only new brush is the, the Wet n Wild one. And then I have two concealers that I don't really, I use this one as an eyeshadow primer, sorry. Whew, I'm talking really fast. I so I have this e.l.f. concealer that I don't really use as a concealer. I use it as like a primer to make my eyeshadow sit. And then I have this Wet n Wild coverall. It's a cover stick and it's in the shade medium. And then the e.l.f. one, is in the shade apricot, apricot, apricot beige. And I really, really like that. Speaking of eyeshadows, I have this hard candy palette that is super pretty it's, if you like shimmers. Uh, that is one downside to it. It doesn't have any mattes in it, but it actually has some pretty highlights. I use these two lightest shades as highlights sometimes. Whew, they are great. And then the next thing I have is a eyebrow thing. And it's the Aziza 2 palette. And I know Aziza, just Aziza, is sold in drugs and dollar stores and stuff. But I actually really love this eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm really sad that I kind of broke up because it had it in the exact shade that this one is above it. But I tore it out because I was like, oh, I'm going to make um, a DIY like bronzer. Didn't work. Do not try that. Well, the recipe I used did not work. <laughs> And it was really sad because now that I think about it, looking back, I could have saved that and now I'm almost running out and I don't know where to find it. Oh, I'm a little mad at my old stuff. So then I have this um, Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Pencil and it has a little spoolie brush on the end and then it has a uh, the pencil on the other end and I have it in the shade Brunette's, or, or Brunette's Do It Better and I really like that name actually. I didn't realize it was called that. I didn't realize that it had a name until I looked at it. And the next thing I have is just this plain black um, pencil, eye pencil that I got, and I use it in my waterline sometimes when I want that really dramatic, not dramatic, but dramatic look. And I really, 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 really like it. So the next thing I have is for eyeliners. I don't really do eyeliner that much, so I got these as a gift set. But there's a gold, a, sil a silver, a silver, a black, and a blue. I really, really, I've used them before. I keep saying really, really, I don't know why. I've used them before and they're actually really creamy. So I don't really wear eyeliner that much because I don't really like the way it looks. I mean, of course I want to get that sharp line to like cut someone, but I don't really like the way it looks for like me just going into an average day at middle school. Maybe if I'm going to like a party or something, yeah, I'll wear it. But it, the, I, sh I do have to say is it runs out super fast, like super duper fast. I don't know why, but it runs out so fast. I'm almost out of it and I've only used it like once or twice. So the next thing I have is mascara. Where's my other mascara? Hmm. Well, this is a vibrating mascara by Maybelline. Like, I don't know if you can just hear it, but listen. Like, what? And it actually really works to like just separate your eyelashes. And then I have this Mega Length by Wet n Wild. I love the packaging. It's like bright purple. And I actually really like the wand on this, or I don't like the wand on this one at all. But I have the other one. I don't know where it is. It's kind of sad. This is my favorite one. And then I have this just normal eyelash curler. And then I have just two EOSs. This one's in coconut milk, and this one's in strawberry sorbet. And as you can see, um, I like really like it. <laughs> so yeah. 
And then I have this just normal sharpener for my eyeliner. And then I have a lip stain, which is like so pretty. Oh my God, I'm gonna show you swatches of everything, but it's so pretty, oh my gosh. And then this is by e.l.f. It's in the shade Crimson Crush. And then I have this Physicians Formula that I actually got on clearance at H-E-B for $4. And I, as you can see, I really like the bronzer in this palette. And it comes with the, this brush in the back and a mirror, a mirror in this brush. So, and then the end all of all be all. Is that a word? The da -da -da -da, Cuddly Bible Palette by BH Cosmetics. I am so glad that my best friend Ellie got this for me. Oh, you don't even understand. I use this every single day, every, 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 every single day. And I love it so much. The shadows are so pigmented, so pretty. And there's highlighters. I just don't understand. They're so pretty. I'll show, you I'll show you swatches of them, but I don't know if you can just, like, just, like, hands up for Carly Bible and BH Cosmetics, because this is the best palette that I've ever had. It's the only palette I've ever had, well, besides the hard candy one. Oh, but it's so pretty, oh my gosh. And I love the little quote inside of it. It says, aspire to inspire. But yeah, so I don't really know the names of these, but I will be sure to put them in like right here or in my little voiceover i will say them but they are so so freaking pretty so yeah and i guess that's it so i hope you enjoyed today's video because i really like making youtube videos i mean i don't really have a perfect camera or like i don't i want the canon or the daikon d3200 but all i have is a kodak whatever it's called i don't really know but it's a really tiny camera but I just love making YouTube videos, so I don't know if you can tell. I don't really get to post them that often because it's really hard for me to edit them and post them on this type of camera. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will make sure to try and upload more, but it's just school started, so yeah. But I love you guys so, 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 so much. And thank you for 4K views on my other, my yoga challenge with Ellie, but yeah.